Following up on our recent video about VPNs and Apple's private relay, we got some feedback uh, that folks would appreciate some additional tips and tricks for using services like VPNs. So to start us off on some of these conversations, in addition to some of the great security benefits, what's one of the top reasons people seem to want to use a VPN? Let's chat real quick about streaming. And no matter where you set your VPN to tunnel your data, we hope you'll keep up with all the work here on reviews.org. Hit those subscribe options down below, follow us around the socials, and make sure you tune in for some of our fun live streams. The reviews.org editorial team conducted a survey on VPN users, and I don't think it'll be a grand surprise what some of the top uses were for VPNs. A good number of folks needed a corporate VPN to work from home. A lot of people still wanted to protect their data and their browsing history. And maybe the biggest number of people wanted to view content that might have been regionally restricted. YouTube by itself was one of the most commonly listed replies on the survey, but streaming in general, super popular. This is of course where we have to reiterate that many of the paid streaming platforms have specific rules against using VPNs to avoid region-locked content. Netflix, for example, regularly tries to audit VPNs to restrict their use on their platform, and you could be in danger of losing your Netflix account if you're caught using a VPN. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's chat streaming. Okay, so once you sign up for a VPN service, you can often choose your location. Again, a VPN is a virtual private network. It connects you to a server to protect your web traffic, but that server can be located in a different region than where you live. So let's say you can't watch a video on YouTube because it has a regional restriction. You can tell your VPN to show your location as an area where that content is allowed. There are many, many different VPN services that you can use, so we can't comprehensively show you how these settings work for every VPN, but it's not usually too difficult to sign into your specific service and see what options they might have. The actual device side also requires a little management too. Most VPNs allow you to use multiple computers on one account. Each device will probably need to be configured for the VPN individually. Every modern operating system should have a setting somewhere for VPN. You might need to dig through your settings, but it's usually found if you just search for it, and it's often going to be under network or connections. But it should be there, and we mean everything. Android, iOS, Windows, Chrome, Mac OS, Linux. Depending on your platform, VPN providers will also make apps to help streamline the setup and help you manage your account info. You can encrypt your connection and sometimes literally just tap on a map where you want to browse from. Once you've set up the VPN side of your connection, your data should look like it's coming from a different place on the planet. So once that's all been set up, opening your video streaming app should look a little different as that app or website thinks you're in a different location. Find that video that was previously blocked and give it a watch. Now, because of licensing details and different laws for content in different places, you should expect this to be a cat and mouse game. Netflix recently cracked down hard on VPNs in 2021, and some VPNs have been more successful than others at working around Netflix's restrictions. Each streaming solution is going to be a unique moving target, and what works for one service might not work for another. Also, what works for one service right now might not always work for that service as apps and websites are updated. I'm not alone in thinking VPNs are a fantastic resource. And the more security conscious you are, the more you should consider adding one to your online repertoire. But they can also help with some of the fun stuff like streaming video. Easily one of the most commented on topics on the reviews.org website. We've got some great articles to get you up and running fast with a VPN. And we also have a ranking of the top VPN services to choose from. Did your VPN 
make the list. Drop us one of them tasty comments down below. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, and subscribing to the channel. For Reviews.org, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, aka Some Gadget Guy, and I will catch you all on the next video.